Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to create a vignette effect programmatically. Now a vignette is the darkening of the corners of an image that photographers used to avoid earlier, but it's a cool effect now that adds photo photorealism. So we make uh, an image effect shader. And the next thing that we need is a script. So this image effect shader that you have is responsible to invert the colors of the final render that you see right here and this is unity's template or basic image effect shader now the vignette script that i have created uh, is inherited from a base class which is responsible to take an input as a shader okay and it creates a material and bits the rendered image with the shader itself all right so if we see now if you go to the camera and I have a vignette effect applied, I just drag and drop the shader and it should actually in invert the colors. Perfect. Now all we need to do is to darken the corners. To darken the corners, the basic thing that comes to your mind is to have a radial gradient starting from the center of the image to the end of the image. To do that, we need to understand uh, what are the UV coordinates we are getting from the structure or what unit is providing? So if you see here I dot UV, we are just quickly going to see what is I dot UV dot X. So the UV X starts from left, goes to the right, and the UV Y. So UV Y starts from bottom, goes to the top. All we need to now do is create a radial effect, which is float. Oops radial and we use some basic maths and we say return the radial value okay so you see your center of the radial is in the bottom right so that means we need to give an offset so to provide an offset oops we take a vector to offset and we have to pass it onto the shader that means we need an offset x and offset y so i'm going to split it up here float i'm keeping the naming convention just as unity provides okay just so that we get an idea so you add the offset of x in the x uv and offset of y in the y uv provide this all we need to do is we need to go to the base class copy this on render image function and to the material provide or set a float this float takes in two parameters which is the name of the parameter in the shader and the value that we are going to provide so this is going to be offset.x and similarly offset.y the y offset now, if I go to Unity, I should be able to offset my vignette to whatever location I feel like. And yes, so this is already working fine. Okay, so this is somewhere where your radial gradient begins and ends at the corners. That is exactly what we wanted. The only thing that I would like to do is power of the pixel values are exponentially multiplied by a factor. So let's have an exponential factor. And let's say radial is equal to power of radial powered by the exponential factor. And I'm going to take a public float the exponential factor here like exp. And I'm going to set float to this. So this is how we are transferring the values again. Now if we see by default the value is zero. So you just go ahead and exponentially start on increasing it. You can change the x and y. Okay. So we have this programmatic minute and you don't need to create the textures anymore. The only thing that I would want to do again, uh, not again, but next is pass on a color. 
we can get color now when we pass on a color we say set color we have to create a property here but we give it a color the property again we're going to set it as underscore vignette color now a color is of type float 4 you can use fixed 4 half 4 i will come to that in the next few chapters now if i just quickly multiply this see what happens The white values will become red and the darker values will become dark. But what we want to do is we want to instead use a lerp function here. So we are lerping between two values or going between two values using the designated radial value. So if I say 0, 1, 1 is in the center, 0 is in the outside. That means if I give the vignette color at 0, there we go. This is how our vignette is going to look like. Now the only thing that we have to do is <coughs> use the rendered image and replace it with the white color. Use this as a mask. Okay. So if I check what the color is here as discussed in the previous videos, this is the rendered output. This is exactly the rendered output that we're getting right now. That means instead of one, we turn the rendered output you can also multiply this by the vignette color it's up to you and i guess you are pretty much there with your vignette so try and achieve different kind of effects is what i would like to say Anyways, uh, i'm going to just keep it to dark so that it looks like a vignette and i can set to this the best part of this is on a free aspect you don't have to now create multiple vignettes. You can change the aspect ratio and still check the vignette effect. All right, thank you for watching.